Hi, I'm Christina Allman. I'm here today to have some pictures restored by Restore TV Picture Stories. I'm hoping that they will be able to do a good job with my pictures so that I can put them in a book to share with my family. So good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, how are you? Mm -hmm. Good, mm -hmm. what we can do for you today? I want to have two photos restored. They're okay. photos of my mother when she was a year old. So what, what do you want us to do with this? Uh, it has a crack across here that I need to have repaired and I would like to put a background in it so that it comes out of a square photo. Okay, is this your and, mom too? Yes, this is my mother too and this is her passport photo. This stamp here mm -hmm. also covers part of her face. Oh, okay. You can't see it here, but when it's enlarged, you can see that. Okay. And so I would like it, to, you know, removed you off of her face. Piece? Yes, and if you if you like the the um, black stamp, probably erased. Okay, sounds good. You're going to be happy with your new pictures. I hope so. <laughs> My name is Christina Frances Hunt Allman, and I live in American Fork, Utah. I was born in Neath, South Wales, and I came to America when I was uh, nine months old. But when I was about three years old, my family moved to Monticello, Utah, and that's where I was raised. This is a picture of my mother when she was a year old in a high chair, and I think she cut this picture out when she was a young girl or a little girl and thought she was doing something creative, I suppose. And she was the third and youngest daughter of William John Thomas and Mary Ann Frances Thomas. Probably what the first photo that she had taken, uh, at least that's the earliest one that we have in our possession. This is my mother's passport picture. And she was 18 years old then and she grew up a very normal childhood, but her teenage years weren't so normal because World War II was raging all about them. She went to work in a munitions factory because they needed the ammunition so badly for the war. During this time, uh, the Americans were sending their soldiers to Scotland and England and Wales to prepare uh, for the military invasion of France and Germany. And my father was stationed in Wales, and he met my mother there. And they courted and eventually were married, and I was born the following year. Um, my father was Ralph Hunt, and they were married July 18th, 1945. And uh, they were married in, in Andover, England, because they had to get permission from uh, the military to marry. And um, my father, um, he was from Blanding, Utah, so when the war was over, he was sent back home and he went to Blanding where he had a small home for us. And we had to wait until the ships came back and returned, picked up the wives and children of the soldiers and took them to America. And we boarded the ship, the USS John Erickson. We um, came to America, landing in New York. And my mother and I took a train from New York to Chicago, Illinois, which is 800 miles. And then we took another train from Chicago to Denver, Colorado, which was a thousand miles and then from Denver, Colorado to Grand Junction, Colorado, which was 150 miles. And that's where we met my father. But our travels weren't over yet. We had another 150 miles to go by car to get to Blanding, Utah. <laughs> and, and my mother wrote in a letter to her mother and said, I knew if I took one more step, I would have fallen off the edge of the earth. <laughs> my parents had four daughters. I was the oldest, Christina, and my next sister was Marta Lorraine, and the next one was Norma Sharon, and the last one was Darcy Lynn. And um, 
my um, sisters are all living today, except for my sister Sharon, who passed away at the age of 34 when she had cancer. I am uh, creating a book for uh, my children, and also I am creating a, one of these books for my cousin who lives in Wales. And it will have family pictures and uh, family history. It will have the genealogy of, of our ancestors. And I want them to be able to have a, a copy of this. And I want my children also to have uh, a copy of this. Also, my sisters um, will, will be uh, getting a copy. And she always made special treats. And it was just a really fun time in my life. It was the birthday parties that she had for all of us. My mother stayed at home. She never had to work. And uh, one thing she really liked is my mother loved to dance. And so she would get the records, <laughs> put them on the phonograph player, and, and she would grab one of us girls and she would dance with us. And so at an early age, we knew how to do all kinds of dances. Um, she had a ladies club. When they would come to our home, my mother would set out bowls of mints and nuts. And, and I remember us girls sitting at the top of the stairs listening to what was going on. <laughs> and then after all the ladies were gone, we would sneak down and finish eating all the mints in the bowls. <laughs> Restore TV, this is Sonia. Okay. Do you want to make an appointment for when you can come? Hey, so I can wait here for you for hey, sure. Hey, hey, okay, hey, when hey, would you like hey, to come? Hey, okay, hey, okay, next hey, week. <laughs> wait a minute. Mom? What, Katin? Why is she wearing a dress? Because she looks beautiful. Hi! Hi! She looks Hello. ridiculous. I think no, she looks. Not. She looks kind of cute. See what we think. She looks cute. Well, girls, I have to go to the other building, the building that I'm fixing for rent. So I come back in a few minutes. You are in charge of the office, okay? Kathy, and remember, don't take off Candy's dress. Okay. What happened with her dress? Whose dress? Candy's dress. She doesn't ever have a dress. Mother's Day was made a national holiday in what year? A, 1908, B, 1914, C, 1918, D, 1925. And the answer is B, 1914. Well, we are here with Christina at Restore TV. And today is the reveal day for her pictures. Christina, are you ready to see your pictures? I am. I'm looking forward to it. Been okay. waiting all week. <laughs> I think you're going to love it. I'll see. They look really good. Yeah, okay. So let's start with a picture of your mom. This little picture. We erase all the black spots, but we keep the seals like you want it. Mm -hmm. And ready to see the new one? Yes. <laughs> okay. Here is your new oh, one. Oh, those are wonderful. This is just great. Yeah, this is wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that, this is I this, think that's looks just great. very good. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. Yes. We even put our sweater in and the. Uh, yeah. So and nice. the seal here says foreign. Uh huh. And because I guess it's for a passport, and there was missing the F. That's right. So they add the F there. Wonderful. Says for a. So now we are going to show you the picture of your mom, but when she was a baby. Right. This is the new one. That is great. That is just great. That is beautiful. I, 
really like the background that you yes. put into it. That is wonderful. And you cleaned up all the lines and uh -huh. just made it clearer. And yes. Thank I'm, you I'm for coming very, to Restore TV. I'm very pleased with them. Thank you very Thanks. much. baby picture and added a background to it and made it look just wonderful. I'm really happy that I brought my pictures here to be restored. I just want to say I appreciate the opportunity to tell something about my mother. I want to thank you, Restore TV, for my beautiful pictures. You've outdone yourself, and I'm very, very pleased with them.